Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 10 for our course which is microprocessor systems and interfacing and today's topic is IO port programming. So let's see what is IO port programming. So IO port programming. IO port programming is also known as input or output port programming. And what is it? Uh, so to consider it, we need to know that there are various pins available within the chip of microcontroller which are used for IO purpose. IO, piece, IO purpose means input or output purpose. So this is the meaning of uh, communication for with the device with the outer world, right? So that means if outer world uh, need to be interconnected or interfaced with a pro programmer or the microcontroller, then we need to use these input or output pins or input or output ports, right? What are ports? Basically, these pins are distributed or grouped in number of uh, register. Those are called ports. For example, uh, it is in generally you can call them port X, right? But there are certain uh, names which are related to it. So we will gonna we gonna see them. So port X are internal register in file register. So you, if, if you remember that in file register, we covered there are two type of register. One is called GPR and another is called SFR. So port X are basically dedicated SFRs, right? So their sole purpose is only to connect, uh, uh, to provide the interconnectivity with the outer world. And each port X register doesn't, uh, is not sufficient. Uh, they have an associated Trix X, Trix X registers which are also of, uh, which are which are also uh, part of SFR registers so basically uh, port ports uh, can only be function properly if you if you are going to use this trisx or trisx uh, SFRs right so trisx are very important SFR because they dictate the direction of IO pins you know that a same pin can be used as input pin or can also be used as an output pin but the direction of information fl flow through that pin will be dictated using this Tris X register, right? So we will see uh, how one can use it, right? So direction can be inward. That means uh, can be used at, as an input device or input pin. That means information will flow from outer world to the uh, microcontroller chip. And that pin can be served as output pin. For example, whatever the output coming from the program can be delivered to the outer world. So in PIC 18F452, there are five ports or five port SFRs available, which are named as port A, port B, port C, port D, and port E. So there are five different internal SFR registers available in a file register, which are dedicated just for uh, port or input output pins, right? Since there are five ports, so there will be five Chris register. So they are also named in the similar fashion, Tris A, Tris B, Tris C, Tris T, and Tris E. For example, if one is interested to configure port A, then he has to use this Tris E, right? Similarly, if one is interested to configure port C, then he has to uh, uh, configure it using Tris C. To control the direction of uh, corresponding port X, that at that point I've already explained you, though that means Tris is basically using the directional flow of, uh, you know, direct, uh, controlling the directional flow of port to make a pin as input pin, Tris X must be high. That means we need to put high logic or uh, send high or send VCC signal to Tris register and how we gonna see, uh, how we gonna do it, we will see in coming slides. And to make a pin as output pin, you need to provide low. So if you are interested to make uh, a pin as input pin, you need to provide one. And if you are make, if you are interested to make the same pin as an output pin, so uh, you need to provide zero logic, right? And uh, you know that by default, there must be one of the status. So by default, every port is an input port. So uh, that means every input pin, uh, which are part of ports are basically uh, used as uh, input pins or as, as input ports by default purpose. Okay, each port has varying number of pins. Uh, for that purpose, we need to know port A has seven pins. So you know that if we gonna number seven pins, if we will start with zero, we will forwards all one, two, three, and the number will go up to six because uh, we are considering port A and the, it has only seven pins. So similarly, uh, these individual pins of port are also known as 
R A. So for if we know we are if we are writing R A zero, that means we are talking about um, least significant bit or least significant pin of port A, and these are numbered as R A zero to R A six. Similarly, port B has eight pins. That means they will be numbered from R B zero to R B seven, right? Similarly, port C has eight pins, so they will also number from R C zero to R C seven. Port D has similar case as we discussed for port B and port C. For case of port E, uh, it has something different because it it has only three pins. That means though port E uh, port E uh, has three pins, so it will be numbered from R E zero to R E two. Uh, and we gonna see how we are going to program these input and output port, or how we are going to use these input and output pins in our code. Okay, here we are going to cover a program example for my, our microcontroller, which is PIC eighteen F four five two. So in this diagram, you see a microcontroller which is PIC eighteen F four five two, and in this diagram, we are just showing one port, which is port B. As you can see here, and there are eight pins, so they can be numbered as R A zero, R A one, R A two, R A three, and up to R A seven. Let's say we are going to connect. Uh, we are going to use this port B as an output port. Uh, so th these pins, which are individual pins of this uh, port B, or internally, these are basically bits of port B register. That means these ports uh, can be connected. Uh, these these pins can be used as input or output pins. So let's say we want to connect an LED LED over RA1, and we want to make it high, right? So at RA1, we will connect an LED, and we will write a code for this microcontroller. So that microcontroller will turn on that LED, uh, and we will see that the uh, information will flow from that microcontroller to that LED. That means Uh, LED will be serving as output device, which will be connected to this pin, which is output pin. So let's see how we are going to uh, do that example. Okay, now I have connected an LED with this pin, which is RA zero. Let me highlight it for you. So this is the pin, which is RA one. Sorry, not zero. RA one. This is okay. Let me use a different color. Uh, let's say a different color would be. For example, this one. Yes. So if we use this pin, which is R A one pin, right? Well, for example, I can write it here. Uh, the we are going to use R A one pin. Sorry, R B one, because B register has eight pins, and they will be numbered from R B zero, R B one, R B two, and so on. So, but we are here connected with R B one. We are not interested in R B zero. So this pin is basically uh, RB one pin, and it is connected with an LED. Okay, that is RB one pin, right? Where is our LED? LED is this one. Let me show you. This is our LED. You can see this is the uh, LED diagram. This is the ground signal. That means a negative terminal of LED is connected with ground. And it requires some high voltage to make it forward by us, and this LED will glow. So that means we need one over this position. Let me write it for you. Uh, we need one here, uh, which will be coming from this pin. So we need to send one signal from this pin. Which pin? RB one pin. So we gonna send RB one as high pin, and then this LED will turn on. So. Let's see how we are going to do this. Uh, we're gonna write simple code for it. I'm not uh, gonna write hash include and uh, something which are so understood. So I'm gonna write directly uh, code. For example, O R G two A. I'm not going to write it, but you know that it is the must part of the program. So you can write it yourself. First of all, one thing we know that every port by default is input pin, and we have to make that pin. Uh, output, right? So we have eight number of pins available in this port, and we are want to make all of them output pins, right? So we want this full port as uh, output port. So what we are going to do? We are going to write zero on every single pin of corresponding TRIS register of port B. So TRIS register of port B will be what? TRIS register of port will be will be TRIS B, right? 
let me increase the size probably that'll, that will uh, okay the size is like, yeah this one so this is Trisby and we want to make every pin of Trisby register one sorry zero because uh, it will convert the port B as output port right so first thing we want to send and in this register, press B, zero for every pin, right? Zero for every bit. So that means we it is an 8-bit register. So we need to write an 8-bit number, which should be consist of only zero. So what we can do, let's say we're going to write move literal to working, right? And in binary, we can say we need 8 bits. So 0, 0, 4 zeros, and that will be 8 zeros. If one is interested to write the same thing in hacks, one can also write simply uh move literal to working zero zero hacks or one can also write zero x zero zero that will serve the same purpose and now we want to send this zero zero or eight zeros to press v registers which will make the port b as output pin so what we are going to do we are going to send this working data which is data present in the working register uh, to the trisp register so that means we will write move working to file which means we are moving the data of working register into the trisp register right right so we are sending our working register to trisp and that will cause what that will make it output pins that means it will translate or we can write to make port b as output port that is the purpose of this instruction and actually we have just done one thing okay uh, i can make it uh, make port b as o port let me increase this one yes so port b will become output port right and i can also write because that can be output right so now port b has become output port because press b register has zero zero in every bit of that means if in file register one is going to see what will be written in the press b in press b we will see that we, we can say that it is written zero zero hacks right uh, you know that crisp is the SFR which is present in the file register. So in file register, one can observe that crisp register will be equal to zero zero or the content of crisp register will be zero zero. And now we know that port B has become what? Port B has become uh, output port. So now we can write something on port B. And what we are interested to do, we want to send one value to this LED register, which is RA1, sorry, RB1. So we want, we will write move literal to working binary information zero 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 and that will be one zero so if you closely observe i have made from this position right let me show you this is rb0 this is rb1 and we want to send at rb1 uh, one that is why we have written one and then six zeros so six zeros and one and zero that means this is the data that we want to send to port b because only pin number one is attached to led which needed high signal or one or logic one to make it turn on right so we will be using this information and then we will write and then we will send this information to uh, port b and how we can do it we need to just use this uh, move working file command, which means whatever the data present in the working register will move into the file and which file this time we are sending it to port B. That and what will happen after this command, the content of port B will become this 001, right? Which one? This one. So this data will send to the, will be sent to the port B and this particular pin will become one which will connect to this LED and this collect this uh, positive terminal of LED is now connected with high voltage or logic one and negative terminal of or N type uh, terminal of uh, this LED is connected to ground, which is zero voltage. So this means this LED will become forward bias and this LED will start to glow. 
So I hope you have understand how one can connect different several peripheral devices. In this example, we have connected an output peripheral device. If you uh, haven't, uh, if you haven't idea about how one can connect the peripheral devices, so you can follow through this example, right? Uh, Okay, that's it from this lecture. I hope you have understand the concept that we wanted to uh, let you know, guys. If you have any queries, you can post in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.